Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chelsea, and if you've been here, then what's up? Welcome back. Uh, so, I wasn't going to vlog today, but then I was just like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up and just start it. So, I've got a project going on that I've semi started on, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to include y'all. So, currently, we have our office space downstairs. And we have the kids' toy, toy room upstairs in what used to be a theater when we bought the house, but I converted it into a toy room because, like, we don't need a theater. Um, so, it's bigger than the space downstairs. The space upstairs is bigger than the space downstairs. But I feel like the kids aren't as crazy about going up the stairs to play. And I feel like maybe they'd play more if it were a space downstairs. Uh, that way I could be like in the laundry room or in the kitchen or in the living, like I could be somewhere and downstairs and like Baron just doesn't like to be up there by itself. So, um, I want to flip those rooms. Um, but let me show you what, let, let me show you the layout now. Okay. So if you're in my kitchen and you walk into my dining room, this is our office space. Now, excuse the mess because I've like cleaned out like cleaned up file cabinets and all that. But this is our our current office space and you can walk all the way through it to our front door. And if you're coming from the front door, then it looks like this. And there's like a bookshelf, Sunny's litter box, my dining room table, the office space. Now, while I'm not like super excited to have like toy space right here, I just feel like Baron would love it a lot more and play a lot more if, and I just need to do something with this. And Richard needs a, like the office needs its own personal space. So I want to take the toy room and put it down here and then move the office upstairs. So now let me show you what the upstairs looks like. So, um, if you go back through the kitchen or you could go back around from the front door and you go up the stairs. So here's what we have going up the stairs to what used to be the theater and is now the kids toy room. It's a mess. But here it is, there's a big window. There's a little step up, there's their big space here. I've created like a library situation. And even though this space is bigger than the space downstairs, I want to put all this downstairs and put the office up here. So the office is more private and they have more space to play um, downstairs where I'm gonna be. So I wanna take this toy room space and move it downstairs to where our office space is and then I want to move the office space up the stairs um, because I think that that would, I think he would like it more and I think that he would enjoy it more and play more. Um, I'm gonna leave the surfboard shelf and rack where it is because it's too hard to move and I like it down here, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, yeah, I got all excited. I gotta get a big rug and like decorate it and make it all pretty. It's gonna be nice. So let's get to it. It has begun. part the toy room transformation flip-flop of the office in the toy room has been finished um so upstairs is now the office and I'm not going to show that to y'all because it's it still needs its work to be done um but I will show y'all what we've done with the toy room what is now the toy room so 
If you walk in from our living room, this is what it looks like. All right, so here's all our costumes, a little reading area, our little books. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do over here. It's like all the toys with wheels. Over here, Bluey's house, um, arts and crafts, coloring, puzzles, stuffed animals. Obviously there's the dining room over there. Um, and then this situation, these are my two problem situations, this one and that one. All right, and so um, then the little kitchen area, his little table here. I'm gonna get a big rug to go um, here because I have this rug, uh, but I'm gonna get a bigger one to go in the center here. Um, I left the surfboards up. Obviously, I didn't really wanna move that and it's, it's fine being there. Um, and then the desk that is now our, or the table that is now our dining room table. This is a very, very old um, table. It it's, doesn't even have nails if, or screws. If you look, it's all like nails. Like they're all nailed in and it's very worn. And um, yeah, I love it. It's very, it has so much character. And so we decided to make this, we decided to make this the um, dining room table for now. And then um, I just used the chairs that I had from our previous table, but I love this so much. Excuse the key hanging here. Uh, so yeah, like that's our new, our new dining room situation. And then this is the toy room from, if you're coming from the kitchen, this is what the toy room now looks like. Isn't it beautiful? So, and, and the kids love it. Baron especially loves it being down here so he can play and I can be in the kitchen and he can play in here and it's just worked out really well. Hi, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. When I get the office organized, I'll show you that, but that's, that's gonna take some work. Update on the bird chimney situation. So, uh, it's not birds, they're bats. We have bats in the chimney and we bought this thing, I don't know if you can see it, it like, makes this weird noise that is supposed to like make a sound that they don't like so it's supposed to scare them away I guess but it's not working um so the next thing we're gonna do is some um peppermint oil they don't like peppermint oil so I'm gonna put the oil diffuser in there turn it on let the peppermint oil go up and see what happens there and if that doesn't work I'm going to call our local exterminator that we use for our maintenance and see um, if they handle bat situations. And if not, then maybe they could tell me someone who does. Um, they're not like a super big problem yet. And obviously if they came down, they can't get in the house, but um, they will become a problem. So that's, that's where we're at with that. Update on the birds that have now turned to bats in our chimney. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, toy room office switch, flip, flop, makeover situation. Um, when I get the office organized, I will show you all that, but that's gonna be a job. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.